Welcome back again watch addicts Today my black tear for December turned up Now I tried not to look on the forums to see what we've got So it is all still sealed And what I'm going to do is open it up and see what we've got this time Now do a little quick wristwatch check This is a little new edition one I picked up Seiko SKX 007 This is a vanilla coke Very mod on it White dial Black and red bezel Very nice watch So anyway, let's get back to the watch gang opening Now, let's see What We've got inside This time In. Oh, what have we got here? Look, hold on away. Merry and bright. Mm. Oh, mm. got a bit of an offer on there. Well, don't forget if you click on my link, you get a uh, 50 uh, watch points um, so you can spin the wheel it's a nice little uh, addition so let's see what we've got right. there's the uh... oh it's one of them oh. it's gonna have to be ripped open Right, like I said, let's hope it's not green. Probably will be green. No matter what. So what have we got? A Grant Brown. Not heard of Grant Brown. Are we ready? Are we ready? Ooh. Now then. A screw down crown yes it is oh oh it's another automatic we got another automatic and it's working Ooh, so look at this Get that light out of the way hmm a bit of a green dial wasn't it? not really keen on green watches but especially green pestles why people do have Green vessels, I don't know, but that, even though it's green, dial, that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Black strap. Like a canvasy type strap. But that isn't bad. Let's uh, see what it looks like. Uh, warranty card. So, just put these to one side. Get them up right. Get rubbish off the table. So uh, back to this. So oh, let's get that off as well. Cover. So let's have a bit of a close up on this. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, rotating bezel. Oh, it is only 60 clicks. Does it line up? No. Oh, okay. Seiko movement in it. Is that? That looks like an NH35 movement. Is it? Yes, it is. NH35 movement in it. Let's, uh, let's take that off and you can have a better look. She just says here, let me just have a. Yeah, NH35A movement in it. So, hand wind and hacking. 
So what's the time now? It is now just after 20 to 8. Hmm, just noticed something. Yes, it is hacking. I never go backwards. It's around about that time. And near enough to there. Oh, come on, focus. the time now it's just a thing so we've got NH35 movements the crown screwing in yes it is it's just me uh, yeah the bezel lines up okay almost probably do a little tiny bit over but you know these micro bands you know they're not the best of a thingy but you know for what do we pay for these about 120 pound or $99 we actually pay more because we've got the shipping costs and also we have to pay uh, customs tax which boosts everything up but never mind still not bad for the £120 watch it is only small actually lug to lug by the looks of it you know let's have a uh, wristwatch check on it SKX off SKX did come with a, a Jubilee bracelet, but as you probably gathered from my other videos, I don't wear the bracelets. Oops, let's have a look, see what this looks like. Yeah. It does look quite small on the wrist, actually. It's probably around about a 40 mil, 41 mil. If I can get this to go tight, that actually. Come on, get in there. It doesn't want to go in. There we go, we've got it this time. Which is a little bit stiff, this uh, strap. Probably just it needs wearing in a little bit. But, let's have a look at that. Hmm. Not too bad. Size compared to that. Hmm. Similar size. It's not too bad a watch. I wonder what the loom's like on this. Let's just shine it up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some loom on it. Yeah, we have got a bit of loom on there. That's not too bad. Hmm. See, so compared to me, SKX. really need to cover but you can see how good the uh, Seiko loom is on these there's not much better than them unless you're paying ridiculous amounts of money but no but so this is going to be joining my uh, rating it's the uh, Native California. Quite a nice watch that actually. Uh, this one um, I am liking a lot more now. Really do like this watch. Charles Hutton Defender. And then the heavyweight. I think that is. It does weigh quite you know, it is quite heavy on the wrist this one. But this is the uh, Notice 500 chronograph. You know, not too bad. You know, and you know, notice on this, no second hand on it. Still a nice watch though. And then this hand wind, not a screw down crown on this, but it is hand wind. Oh. 
nice watch, nice, nice, uh, supple strap on it. So, so, so that's another one to add to the collection. But I did get a few more while I've been away. So, this is another new one I picked up, Citizen uh, BM seven four five O. Nice little watch. This another Eco Drive one. It did actually come with a metal strap. Took it off, and we've got a grey NATO strap on it. Do you like that watch? And then I got Tiso. This is the uh, PRS five one six. This is another automatic. See it moving now. It's a nice watch that actually. Glad to pick that up. This case back. And then I decided to splurge a little bit and I got this. This is the Citizen 8158 Dash 14H Titanium. Very light, doesn't even feel like there's anything in your hand. Actually when the box came I thought there was nothing actually in it until I opened it up. Oh, beautiful watch. You know, radio control. I didn't even have to touch it, open the box and it just set its it set the time for it to itself. Yeah. Really nice watch that. And then I had a nice little deposit come through the door. Decided to I decided to uh, get one. So this came for me today. And this, let's just get this out. I've already unboxed this one, I wasn't going to do an unboxing on this, I was just going to show you it, but this. Hamilton Khaki. Let's stick it onto the box. Yes, I know it's got a metal strap, but I've already got a strap for it. And ordered one for it. So, take a look at that. Nice bit of uh, kit that. Nice depth to it as well. Not a very uh, deep watch. Little Hamilton logo on the side. But that's nice. Let's uh, do a loom shot on this one so let's see what it's like. See if we've got anything uh, like a Seiko. It's not too bad. Little pips around the uh, numbers. Pretty decent. Okay. Right. Hamilton model warranty card. Uh, it's from actually Ernest Jones. Uh, what? No, you've got to get them from where you, from where you can. Oh, that's a nice watch as well. Well, anyway, let's get back to the watch gang watch. Let's, uh, let's take another look at this before we end the video. These are probably the last watches I get before uh, Christmas and the New Year. Uh, post isn't uh, going to be doing very well. But I'm just glad I got this before Christmas anyway. So, it, it will get uh, added to me... Uh, list of uh, watches I do wear, yeah, going to my rotation, so, nice watch, so, and has the uh, Seiko NH35 movement in it, which makes it even better, so some crappy little buddy movement from god knows where, feels quite good, shake 
Yeah. Not too bad a watch actually. The green's not too bad because it's not a, a bright green. You know, it's not a green, you know, like a a uh, pull of grass or whatever or that so but you know, even got a little, little uh, what's his name logo on the uh, uh, but anyway that is the Grant Brown not sure which model it is. Let's see if we've got a model number of it. Just a warranty card. Yeah, not quite sure what it, what it is, but um, it's a Grant Brown anyway. Not heard of them before, but you know, most of the watches that come from Watch Gang. Uh, you've never really heard of but you know they are getting these uh, watch companies established and onto the uh, rung of the ladder you know everybody starts off at the bottom of the ladder and works their way up so what well that's the new watch gang watch for December keep watching stay safe have a good Christmas and I'll see you soon